Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Immigration Quick Take. We hope you're doing great. Current trade and diplomatic tensions between Ecuador and Mexico. Current trade and diplomatic tensions between Ecuador and Mexico have reached a critical juncture due to escalating provocations and statements from Ecuadorian President Daniel Novoa. The friction intensified following Ecuador's military incursion into Mexican territory targeting diplomatic personnel and leading to the severance of diplomatic ties. President Novoa's refusal to recognize Claudia Chambo as Mexico's elected president further exacerbated relations, drawing international condemnation and isolating Ecuador diplomatically. Economic impact has been severe with Ecuador severing trade with Mexico, a crucial partner for exports like crude oil, bananas and fish. This disruption has caused economic instability, rising unemployment and Mexico's sanction on Ecuadorian oil companies have compounded economic woes triggering inflationary pressures and harming Ecuadorian workers. Geopolitical analysis suggests external influences, possibly from the US, may have exacerbated tensions to advance strategic interests. This interference raises concerns about regional security and sovereignty as Ecuador faces diplomatic isolation and economic downturns amid escalating tensions with Mexico. Comparison with regional political models shows President Nova's authoritarian learning rhetoric similar to leaders like Nay Bukele of El Salvador, while some in Ecuador support his anti-corruption stance, criticism mounts over potential threats to democratic norms and institutions, contrasting with El Salvador where similar tactics have met both domestic support and international scrutiny. Humanitarian and social implications are dire, impacting Ecuadorian immigrants in Mexico facing deportation risks and legal uncertainty due to close diplomatic missions and strained relations. Future outlook involves rebuilding diplomatic ties, addressing governance issues and safeguarding democratic principles to stabilize Ecuador's economy and regain international credibility. International mediation may be necessary to de-escalate tensions, promoting regional peace and complex geopolitical and economic dynamics in Latin America.